What's up guys, it's Ivan. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you how to make your website mobile responsive on ClickFunnels. So if you already have perfected a method, you already know how to do this flawlessly, that's great. Uh, I am doing this mainly for people who haven't really heard about it, or for those of you that have, uh, but that are trying to find an easy way to do this. Okay, so let's jump straight in and show you what I mean by that. So here's our website we've been working on. It looks decent on the desktop. Well, I mean, obviously, it doesn't look it doesn't look great, right? These are all the different uh, things we've been working on. But as you can see, everything's everything's in order, right? Um, so so you have things, you know, in little in little blocks. But when you make it mobile, so this is this is the way your your website is going to look like. Uh, let me. This is the way your site's going to look like on the smallest screen possible, right? And as you extend it. Uh, you know, this is kind of like the tablet view. This is like, you know, maybe a phone view for some, and this is a phone view for others. But as you can see here, several problems, right? Um, our navigation bar looks kind of ugly. Now it doesn't look orderly as it did on the desktop version when it was all spread out. Uh, that looks okay, I guess. Uh, this doesn't look good at all, right? Show me the video now. Uh, so maybe we can work on that. Um, this thing doesn't really look too good as well. Uh, this thing looks too big. Okay, so basically, what's an easy way for us to fix this and make this mobile responsive? Because right now, there's a lot of traffic coming out through mobile devices, tablets and, and, and Apple or Android phones, right, or whatever other phone you have. Um, so if you are not making your website mobile responsive, you're missing a lot of traffic opportunities and a lot of good opportunities to sell your product. So the quick way that I've determined and, and, and I've thought of doing this is not going through each individual element and kind of saying, you know, desktop only or mobile only. Here's here's the way I do it. So let me save it first of all. So here's here's where you toggle between desktop and mobile view. Okay, so something pretty simple. Here's your mobile view. Right? Uh, and that's what it looks like, and you can edit from here. But this is also the desktop view. So if I change anything on here, it's also going to change my desktop. So if I make this, you know, red, and I go back to desktop, now that's red as well. So how do you make this convenient? How do you change everything only desktop or only mobile, okay? And, and here's the way I do it. All I do is I make every single section, first of all, I make it desktop only. So I go into settings for every section, and I say desktop only. All right, so now you can see there on the left-hand side, it says desktop only. I'm going to go to the next section, uh, which is here. I'm going to say desktop only. And I'm going to repeat this for everything. So eh, I guess we could do it for this section too. Let's say desktop only. Let's go here. Let's say desktop only. Let's go here. Let's say desktop only. That's part of that. Let's say here, desktop only. Okay, so now we have uh, created our entire web page only on the desktop. So now we need to change the mobile view. And now, in fact, if I go to mobile, there's absolutely nothing, right? Because everything's not only on desktop. So now what we do is we clone a section and we make that clone section mobile only. And what this allows us to do is to make changes on the mobile, on the mobile section here without being afraid that that's also going to affect our desktop and it's going to allow us to just play around with it any way we want to without being afraid of it changing the real version so i'm going to clone that again and put this on mobile and that's the idea right so we're going to do this for everything for for all of these so clone it there it is and let's make it mobile only maybe a bit of a pain in the butt but it is necessary to make this really smooth and, and effective later on down the road okay i'm gonna go back to desktop clone this one almost done mobile only and i think that's it right what did i miss anyway um so now that we've got that I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that, but you would go through every single section and do that, okay? But now basically it says mobile only. So now if I make changes on here, 
it won't affect my desktop and I can th this is kind of the worst option this is right this is like the smallest screen you could have so if you could make it look good here then it's going to look better as as it expands right so let's for example here as you can see what I like to do uh, navigation bars don't look too good in a really mobile view <sighs> we can do two things we can either really decrease the font size and make it you know in this case is going to be too small but maybe do yeah so what we could do here is maybe do two options um, <clears throat> we could add another navigation bar so we could uh, add several in a row so maybe you know two at the top two in the middle two at the bottom so here we have five so you know maybe two two and one um, <clears throat> right so for example we could say two columns right and add uh, you know add a navigation bar here and add navigation bar here all right that's an option uh, and now now that looks better right and you can you can just simply delete this remember this whole section is now in your mobile view so you can just easily delete anything and not have to worry that you know it's gonna affect your desktop so now we can delete this and well yeah okay so 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 it has the exact same information but maybe we can change that to you know about us uh, and make this resources and then maybe change it to just two links right because we only need two <clears throat> yeah I don't know why that's capitalized, but uh... oh, oops, wrong one. Okay, there you go. So I'll just leave it at that. So you get the idea, right? But that looks much more pleasant than this. Okay, so now we can just delete that chunk, leave it there, and obviously play around however you want to. You know, the 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 second option we have is maybe adding buttons. So you could do the same thing. You know, six columns. Um, and just add buttons here and what you'll have is you'll be able to click on you know button here button here button here again if you want to see on how those buttons can look like in your navigation bar check out the video on using buttons uh, for your navigation bars but that's basically the other option we have okay now uh, okay so these are our timers now these timers are unformatted because remember we've added C custom CSS code to do those animations, right? As, 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 as you saw in the video on that. So what we could do is we could simply go back here. Uh, we could copy that code. So, you know, let's see which, which one this is. This is uh, 55846. Five, eight, four, six. Okay, so all, all you do is you literally copy this thing, right? Because the keyframes corresponds to this, again, as you saw in the animation video. You copy that whole thing for the other element ID, right? Because this is 55846, but in mobile view, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be different. It will be 134, right? So that's a copy of it. So that's a good thing. You may think it's it sucks that you have to do this back and forth, but it's also a good thing because then you, you, you can customize and make different things between your, <clears throat> your desktop and your mobile view within custom CSS, right? Otherwise, whatever you do in desktop, you cannot change it, right? So that's actually a good thing. So yeah, so if, if you want to keep it the same as this, just literally copy this code back into your custom CSS and copy that exact chunk of CSS onto there, or just, just, just make up another CSS code, right? So if something doesn't work, we can just make something else up, whatever we want here. Uh, so I'm not going to get into that now, but for example, this, you know, we think maybe this is too big for our mobile. Maybe we can decrease it. No, maybe make it something like that, et cetera, et cetera. This one definitely doesn't look too good. So maybe let's make that smaller, show me the video now, you know, something like that, or at least that, right? Better than occupying three lines, but you get the idea. Uh, everything else looks fine. This awesome <clears throat> section, let's decrease that a bit maybe. Maybe make it like that, and we could actually change, uh, let me see, what is it? Yeah, it's this one. So we can actually change the size as well there, the padding there. So let's maybe do it like that. Okay, so roughly, right, that, that's the idea. I think there's another section we didn't post, post, but you get the point. And then, you know, if we want to move this up, just play with the padding a bit. Uh, so that's about it. So that, I think, looks much better than what we had at the beginning, right? And if I click on Save, let's just take a look and let's preview what it looks like now. So, so as you can see here, nothing changed on the desktop, right? Desktop looks awesome. But... Mobile view looks even better. And here, you know, this is about the tablet view, maybe right about here. And you can play around with it. So you don't have to use just that mobile view, right? Just that. 
people are using tablets and stuff like that. So you could, you know, you could um, expand it out a bit and see what it looks like there. And then as it gets to about this point, I think this is like 600 pixels. Uh, at this point, it, it looks a little bit awkward, but then just like for that one pixel, it looks a bit awkward. But after that, it looks just like the, the computer version, right? And people, they're not going to end up at a screen like this. They're literally going to end up at something that looks similar to this, similar to, or, or similar to this, right? They're pretty much never going to end up at something that looks like that, right? That's just not not the way this is set up immediately on their uh, tablet or mobile phone. It's going to immediately take them to that particular place. Um, and as you can see, there's the change, right? It goes from red to blue, <clears throat> and here it looks much nicer. So this is how we made it into our, uh, or into being it mobile friendly. And if you really want to go one step ahead, I'd also recommend maybe opening different browsers because they do look differently in different browsers. If I open my Edge, <clears throat> and I previewed here, It will look a little bit different there see so in this one it's it still has those three lines and we only had two so you may want to go ahead and just edit this again in internet edge and make this two lines right that's that's if you really want to go above and beyond this one is also two lines in 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 chrome it was one line right and i think chrome and uh, firefox would be roughly the same as just internet edge that likes to have its own way all right so that's about it um I, I hope that helped. I hope I was able to give you kind of this, <clears throat> this method that worked for me to make things really much faster. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Please subscribe if you have already subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.